It's day 33 here in the produce section where I'm going to show you just how easy and affordable it is to eat healthy. We're going to start with romaine lettuce, $1.29. Carrots, 75 cents. Sweet potatoes, $2. Lime, 39 cents. Lemon, 79 cents. On to the bulk section, cashews, $2.50. Papitas, 50 cents. And maple pecan granola, $1. And the last thing I have is a banana, and that's gonna cost me 18 cents. So I've got a basket full of food. We're headed to the checkout to see how much this is gonna cost us. So my total for today was $9.36. In comparison, the lady behind me bought some meat and some chocolates and she spent $34. So that's the price difference. So we're only a little over a week away from January 1st. So whose New Year's resolution is to start the produce section challenge? Write in the comments below if you're gonna begin this journey towards health and happiness with me. The first thing we're gonna do when we get home is we're gonna peel our sweet potatoes. I'm then gonna cut my sweet potato into wedges and add it to a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Next, we're gonna peel our carrots. Next, I'm going to cut those carrots into a stick shape and add them to parchment paper as well. We're then going to add our carrots and our sweet potatoes to a preheated oven at 450 degrees. We're then going to add our cashews to some water and soak. Now let's work on our sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's, a little balsamic glaze, and some organic blue agave. So this is what it should look like before you blend. We're then gonna take out our sweet potatoes and we're gonna flip them. We're also gonna add our punched up barbecue sauce, which just finished blending. So here's what your sweet potato wedges should look like when they're coated in our delicious barbecue sauce. We're gonna add those back to the oven and we're gonna take out our carrots to flip. Next, I'm gonna work on a dipping sauce. So here are some soaked cashews, some sriracha, some hoisin sauce, and half of a lime. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of sea salt and some filtered water. Remember with the water to add as much as you need to get a creamy consistency. So what you end up with is a really, really nice lime cashew hoisin sriracha sauce. Okay, this is really good. I tried this one. The barbecue sauce was also amazing. I also tried that. So these are two sauces you have to give a chance. So my carrot fries are done, so I'm gonna take them out of the oven, put them in a bucket, and toss them in some sea salt. My sweet potato steaks are done, so I'm also gonna add those to a bucket. Okay, if you notice that one is missing, that's because I tried one and it was too good. I ate the whole thing. I'm sorry, but I couldn't resist. These are delicious, this barbecue sauce. Now we're gonna work on our salad. So here we have a bucket filled with romaine, topped with some of my roasted pepitas, which are just pumpkin seeds toasted with a little bit of sea salt. Now we're gonna work on our dressing. So again, we're gonna start with some roasted cashews. We're then gonna add capers, a whole lemon, and some sea salt. So here's what that should look like. What you end up with after you blend is a creamy cashew Caesar dressing. Now let's work on our breakfast. So here we have some maple pecan granola. Also gonna add a sliced banana and drizzle some agave on top. So for breakfast, I have maple pecan granola with a fresh sliced banana. For lunch, I have a sweet potato steak with my pumped up barbecue sauce. I also have carrot fries with this really nice hoisin sriracha lime cashew dipping sauce. For dinner, I have a romaine and roasted pepita salad dressed with my cashew Caesar dressing. So that's it, I wanna thank my mom. She sent me a brand new knife, a brand new baking sheet, and some awesome cutting boards for Christmas. So thank you, Mom. I know I opened the presents a little bit early, but it's really helped me out. And make sure to check back every single day for new videos on Facebook and Instagram.